So, a bit of heavy lifting machinery, all will become clear. So, we are just over at Gailey, and as you've seen, we've got a bit of heavy lifting machinery. Now, you might be wondering why that heavy lifting machinery is here, and you might be wondering why it's windy and blistery, because I'm doing it on my phone. Um, just getting all the legs up on all the caravans, getting ready to move the pitch around and um, we've got something turning up in a minute um or in a while so something a little bit different we've been sort of thinking and talking about this for since before christmas so um we're going to sort of move the pitch around there's going to be something new coming up so um let's have a look at a few other little caravans that we've had come in and then we'll have a look hopefully in a bit once this uh, little surprise has turned up that's just a little bit different, isn't it? And so, a um, bit of a, a move around on the pitch was gradually, gradually moving back now. Obviously having the static in has helped to sort of move towards the back a bit more slightly. So, um, obviously something that we can now offer is uh, static caravans so um, you can just buy them off site just as they are so if you're looking to sort of do a house build or something like that and you just want to off site static we can get hold of them uh, obviously if you're looking for one on a specific site we've got three absolutely cracking sites where you can sort of choose from um, so there'll be more on that we will have a look inside um, probably not this week now to be fair I'm just running running short on time to be honest with you um, but there'll be some pictures on the website. We've got a brief bit of information and obviously if you want to have a proper look there in that come on down to the Gailey site uh, Got another caravan that's just going to go into this spot here. So that's just arrived. So that's just waiting cleaning And then uh, we just need to get back on with the with the pitch now um, Sort of just getting back on top of everything. We're going to head over to Garden Village um, See what is happening over there and have a quick look around what I've actually got in stock over there uh, The 850 I think we said about that last week that's gone um, It's Been a little bit quieter on the sales then a little bit to be fair um, sort of It's that point where if you haven't already got your van ready for Easter, it's it's too late. So um, we normally go a little bit quieter now for actual Easter um, We start to get a lot more interest coming through So uh, let's have a look at Garden Village and see what we've actually got in stock over there And So we're back over at Garden Village. So we've got the static caravan now in over at Gailey So we're going to do more on that. We might go into a little bit more of it on um, Sunday's video maybe with Sunday's video as well. We have got coming up um, basically all the things that you might come across when you actually get onto site so uh, little issues that you're going to possibly have or might just occur for the first time out if it's the first time out in the season so lots of little helpful tips and hints and if you have these problems hopefully we're going to show you how to get over them as well and how to sort of get your weekend back up um, and running if, if you come into any of these little problems uh, we're going to be going through um, a lot of the stock as well on Sunday's video. I'm going to go through a few bits and pieces now. We've got the 2020 Bessie Car Cameo 835 2020. It's 29995. Um, so this has got literally everything on it except for motor movers. Um, Self leveling systems, we've got external barbecue points, external 230 volt sockets. Um, Hatches galore, the upholstery and everything is absolutely lovely in this. Let's zoom out slightly. Um, so again, lovely sort of van, either either sort of touring round um, or actually sighting it. This is a, an absolute cracker um, for whichever way that you really want to, to do it. We've got the Aldi Central heating, we've got the newer Swift Command panel in it we've got the nice big fridge freezer um so that really makes it sort of usable for sizing it um these used to have like a corian worktop which um it's not quite a corian worktop in there anymore uh, it's still sort of I don't, I don't think it's like a, a fake stone um it might be 
yeah, it might be. I'm trying to work out what the what the top actually is. I've um, got the electric ring and the three gas. We've got the microwave. So all your usual bits and pieces. And then, like I say, it's got the self-leveling. So underneath of this cupboard here um, is our actual self-leveling controls just on the front there. So nice and easy access. We've got the extractor fan in the roof. Uh, extractor fan in the bathroom and again we've got a nice, nice big washroom in the middle really loads of space uh, massive massive amount of space so um, makes then a nice end bedroom um, and on the central heating in this we can control it where we've got sort of two zones so we can heat the front at one temperature and the back at one temperature so a little switch just here um, we'll actually control that so and then a lot, nice big wall there for your TV So if you're thinking about sort of sighting, but you don't want to go for the static because that one that's just come in 58995 just under 60,000 pounds by the time it's all said and done sighted and what have you we've got three cracking sites um, So that you can choose from sort of two over towards Hereford and then one mid Wales so uh, if you want more info on that, again, if you pop into the Gailey site and uh, we've got all the brochures of all the sites and everything. So we've partnered up with uh, three three different sites and then there's different different uh, statics as well that you can buy. So it's not just the one that we've got there on, on display. There is a range sort of from about £25,000. Um, so you can get the statics, but obviously the nice thing with the Tories, um, something like that, you can put it onto a site, and then next year if you sort of go, actually I want to go to a different site now, I want to go somewhere different, hit it up, off it goes, um, onto the other site, and you, you can change around the country. Um, another one is the Swift Conqueror 565. Um, so again, a really high spec van again, so we've got all the ATC, external barbecue points, external 230s. Um, this has got the single beds. So nice, nice layout, really nice upholstery. Um, nice kitchen area again, very similar um, with the electric ring. Helps if I try and open the hob the right way around. Got the electric ring, got the single beds, got the slim line um fridge freezer and then again similar we've got the older panel control panel we've got this aldi central heat and everything still and then back towards the rear of the caravan is the separate shower and toilet so uh, nice van for a single bed single axle um and again a bit more so if you've got the option then haven't you for more touring um got the extractor fan in the top so again a lovely lovely van um just hoping now that this weather sorts itself out um it's been not too bad at least it's sort of it's not it's just when it absolutely hammers it down with rain is uh is the worst bit um you can't really do a lot then can you so it just it just ruins the time so we could do with a nice start to the season decent bit of weather for easter it's not looking great at the minute but as, as long as it stays like this um i'm happy with that Little Adria that's just come in, so 2005, 4995. It's looking a little bit green at the minute, so uh, needs a good clean. So that's on the list of jobs to get done and sorted. We've got a few vans going out at the minute, so they're all just getting cleaned up, ready to go out. The Coachman Laser, again, another lovely van if you're sort of thinking about putting the caravan onto a site. Um, this is a nice one. E even tone it round, to be fair. Uh, another cracking, cracking layout. The Coachman's, again, uh, very good build quality. Really, really nice with that front roof light. Um, nice big kitchen. And then we've got the Slimline fridge freezer. The Aldi Central heating. Um, similar sort of story with our electric ring. And then the washroom in the middle. And again, we can sort of walk around both sides of the bed. So again, a lovely van for sort of towing around or putting onto a site. And again, we've got that nice bed at the back. So again, absolute cracker. Um, that is about it for this week. As I say, uh, Sunday's video 
we're going to be looking at all the things that might potentially come up and might cause you problems for actually using the, the caravan. So um, if you're going away, hopefully that sort of, I think we're going to call it caravanning issues um, when on site or something like that. So hopefully if you have any little issues, um, our video is going to sort of come, go over the most common problems. We've got our build, um, so our sort of, off grid sort of camper sort of half camper build um so we might have a quick look at that on sunday we are going to do a separate video as well on that just sort of showing you exactly what it is that we've bought um going to a bit more detail of what we're sort of thinking about doing and then um it's going to be a long process we're just starting now to sort of figure out exactly what we're going to do how we're going to do it um how what's going to go where and now getting the sort of parts ordered um, so I think we've ordered a big rear bumper at the minute we've got to order the big sleeper pod for over the roof um, so lots of interesting stuff on that something just completely different so uh, as I say we will do a separate video actually on that so if you've not already hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop us a comment because um, there's going to be some nice interesting stuff coming up there so make sure that you don't miss it thanks for watching I'm Mark at the Caravan Place <laughs>